Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with a cubic equation and its roots. We have x cubed minus x minus 1 equals 0, and we're supposed to add the six powers of the roots of this equation. So x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 are the roots. I'll be presenting two methods, even though the first method is going to be very brief, and why you'll see in a little bit. So let's start with the first one. We are given a cubic equation, and what I can do, one of the things that you can do is solve for the cubic, because there's something called the cubic formula, right? Well, it's not that complicated. It's a little bit complicated. So one thing you can do is isolate the constant, and then write this as a plus b cubed minus 3ab times a plus b equals a cube plus b cube. This is an identity, as you probably know. And then if you set a plus b equal to x, then by comparing these two equations, you're going to obtain a cubic formula. So to be able to solve this cubic equation, we can go ahead and turn it into a quadratic. So reduce the power. And to do that, we're basically going to be looking at the coefficients of x. The coefficient of x here in the top equation is negative 1. And in the bottom one, it's negative 3ab. So from here, we get ab equals 1 third. And the constant is a cubed plus b cubed, which is equal to 1. So we get a system. And this system is actually going to turn into something quadratic. Let's see how that does. So we're going to cube both sides. It's going to give us a cubed b cubed. And then from the second equation, I can isolate b cubed and write it as 1 minus a cubed. And then we can go ahead and substitute this here. And that's going to give us a cubed multiplied by 1 minus a cubed equals 1 over 27. If you distribute a cubed minus a to the 6 equals 1 over 27, put everything on the right-hand side, and then use substitution to turn this into a quadratic. You can basically set a cubed equal to c, and then this gives you c squared minus c plus 1 over 27 equals 0. And by solving this equation, you get the a cubed and b cubed values. By putting them together, of course, you're going to have to take cube roots of radicals, and then you're going to get one of the roots. Once you find one of the roots, let's say x sub 1, then you need to take this polynomial, and I think it was 1, right? Divide it by x minus x sub 1 to find a quadratic, which you can solve, hopefully, by the quadratic formula. But things are going to get real complicated, real nasty from here. So, definitely, you don't want to do that. And let's go ahead and use something much, much nicer. And that brings us to the second method. All right, great. So, again, we are given the cubic equation, x cubed minus x minus 1 equals 0. And then we are supposed to find the sum of the six roots of the six powers of the roots this is what it is quite complicated isn't it so there's one thing that is very helpful and that's called vietas formulas so vietas formulas basically gives you relationships by the way vieta is a french mathematician vietas formulas gives you relationships between the coefficients and the sum of the roots, the product of the roots, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and consider a cubic equation. By the way, everything you learned in the first method, forget about all those constants A, B, C, D, because we're going to use them in a different format. So let's consider the following cubic equation. A x cubed plus B x squared plus C x plus D equals 0. And suppose the roots are x1, x2, and x3. We can write three relationships. And those are going to be x1, x2, x3, the sum, the two-way products, and the product, okay? The third one is x1, x2, and x3. And each of these basically depend on the coefficients, and I, I made a video on Vieta's formulas. You can also go ahead and check that out. But the sum of the roots, and this is nice because this is never going to change for any degree polynomial, it's always, always negative b over a. The two-way products added together is going to be c over a, and this is going to be negative d over a. Notice that how the co coefficients and the signs alternate. And what we need to focus on here is the sum of the six roots, but there is no formula for it, right? Well, you can go ahead and try to cube the sum of squares, but again, that's going to be complicated. So let's go ahead and keep it very simple and consider our cubic. 
we can go ahead and manipulate this, isolate the x cubed, and then square both sides, because our goal is to get x to the 6th power, obviously. And that's going to give you x squared plus 2x plus 1. Nice. We were able to quadratize, or I don't know if that's a good word, but we could basically write it as a quadratic. Nice, because this belongs to our equation, right? This comes from our original equation. Therefore, x1, x2, x3 are solutions. We can replace x with those. Great. So let's go ahead and do it now. I'm going to start with x1. x1 to the 6th power can be expressed as a quadratic, like this. And then same thing goes for x2. This is what's really awesome about this method and the Vietas formulas, of course. And then x3. And guess what we're going to do next? Add these up, right? <laughs> of course, that's what we want. x1 to the 6, x2 to the 6, x3 to the 6. Cool. The sum of squares. And then 2 times the sum, because you can factor out, plus number 3. Easy, right? So all we have to do is basically find this and find that for this equation. We do have a formula for the second one. As you know, we said it's c over a, but what about the first one, this one, right? Well, there's an identity which allows you to find it. If you go ahead and take this expression and square it, you're going to get the following, x1 squared, x2 squared, x3 squared, plus 2 times x1, x2, x1, x3, and x2, x3. Using a lot of algebra, a lot of manipulations, we can find it. But what are these values? Let's go ahead and find the sum and the, the two-way products. That's what we need, right? So our equation is the following. What are the A, B, C, D values? A is 1, coefficient of x cubed. B is 0 because there is no x squared, right? And C is the coefficient of x, which is negative 1, and D is also negative 1. So let's go ahead and find this one first, x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3. It's negative b over a, but b is 0. Great, that's 0. That's awesome. And then the two-way products added together is c over a, remember? And c over a is just going to be negative 1 over 1 or just negative 1. Awesome. So those are the two values we need. Let's go ahead and plug them in. So the sum is 0. And this is going to be negative 1. So this is a negative 2. If you add it to both sides, you're going to get 2 for this. So this is going to be a positive 2. Makes sense? 2 minus 2 equals 0. Great. And then we also need to use the other identity, which is, let's go back to where we had these. Okay, great. So we need the sum. This is going to be 0. And this is going to be a 2 from here, right? So we're going to go ahead and cancel this out. And the sum of the six powers is going to be 2 plus 3. It's as easy as 2 plus 3. Okay. After all this work, let's go ahead and add these up. And it's going to be 5. So if you went with the first method, found all the roots, which would be very, very hard, even impossible maybe, and added their six powers, imagine raising those radicals to six powers, and add, that, add them together, you would get 5 hopefully. Okay, and this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.